Let's start the installation with the filling of the lubrication cup. It should be filled with approximately 100 milliliters of plasticizing oil, for example, DOTP. Hydraulic oil should conform to DIN standard 51524.102. For example, ISO VG46. Fill ECH tank with approximately 18 liters of hydraulic oil. We recommend to fill the tank of the EC hydraulic machine with oil up to the level shown on the picture, which corresponds to 18 liters of the fluid. Electrical network should correspond to the following parameters. Connection 1, uh, 12 amperes at 230 volts and 50 hertz for the version with recirculation hoses. Connection 2, 16 amps at 230 volts and 50 hertz. Install the air dryer on the tank of ISO. Do not forget to extract and discard red protective plugs of the dryer. Open the leads of the tanks and fill them accordingly with the products corresponding to each tank. Be careful not to spill a product while doing so. If this happened, wipe it well and grease the thread of the ISO tank's lead. Do not fill the tanks with more product than shown, maximum 30 liters. Connect the longer hoses to the tank's recirculation valves. Connect the shorter hoses to the machine. Do not over tighten these connections. Take the fast lock connector out of the gun box and fasten it on the air hose of the product hose as shown. Take the fast lock connector out of the gun box and fasten it on the air hose of the product hose as shown.
Take the gun and the short piece of air hose out of the gun box. Connect the air hose to the gun as shown. Take the gun and disconnect the coupling block. If the machine comes with a gun, then special parts for the recirculation hose will be pre-installed on the coupling block. If not, special parts will be delivered with the recirculation hose. Connect the coupling block to the free ends of the recirculation hose and tighten them firmly. No mistake can be made as the threads have different size. Compressor recommended 3 and a half HP, one phase 230 volts from 300 to 350 liters per minute air output and 100 liters receiver. Extract the plug from the receiver and connect the air hose supply directly as shown. Connect the air hose assembly supplied via fast lock connector to the air hose of the compressor. Take the recirculation tubes out of the ISO and polyol tanks and place them above separate waste containers. Open both product inlet valves located beneath product tanks. Turn the main switch on, the LED will light. Press control power button, the control panel will be activated. Press motor button, the LED will light and the motor will be activated. Press normal button, the machine will activate dosing pump's movement. Keep holding the recirculation tubes in the waste containers and open both respective recirculation valves. Let the product out of the recirculation tubes unless oil residues and air bubbles have left the circuit completely and pure product appear. Press retract button. The LED will light and the dosing pumps will move into parking position. Close both recirculation valves and inlet valves of each product and put the recirculation tubes back into the respective product tanks of ISO and polio. Turn the main switch off, the display will go out. The machine is ready for work. We recommend to fill the tank of the EC hydraulic machine with oil up to the level shown on the picture, which corresponds to 18 liters of the fluid. Lubrication cup should be filled with approximately 100 milliliters of DOTP. Make sure the tanks have been filled with products. Do not fill each tank with more than 30 liters of product. Open both product inlet valves located beneath product tanks. Check technical data sheet of the products. Turn the main switch on. The LED will light. Press control power button. Press the button mode. Adjust the requested ISO and polyol heaters temperatures at 40 degrees. Press the heaters buttons. Both LEDs will light. Wait until all the temperatures reach their set point and press the button motto. Press the button normal. 
open both respective recirculation valves to let the products return to the tanks. Rotate the hydraulic pump wheel clockwise until product pumps reach the desired speed. Let the products recirculate until the temperatures of around 35 or 40 degrees have been reached in the tanks. Close both respective recirculation valves to stop the recirculation. Check technical datasheet of the products. Press the button mode. Adjust the requested ISO and polio heaters working temperatures. Wait until all the temperatures reach their set point and press the button moto. Press the button normal. Rotate the hydraulic pump wheel clockwise until product pressures reach the required value. Connect the gun to the coupling block and the air. Open manual valves. Set gun safety valve in working position. Press the trigger and make a trial spray. Make sure the working pressures get equalized. 